This is the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Friday, the 31st of January. I'm James Spann, uh, getting set for a weekend that will include some rain chances, especially as the weekend wraps up. Let's go in there and take a look out the window. And man, it feels like spring today. We've come a long way since Tuesday. This is from uh, downtown Jasper. The sky there is sunny. Everybody in the 50s. That's the Inverness Sky Cam. Old 280 looking pretty good today. And from downtown Fayette. Lots of sunshine there through scattered high clouds. Whole pattern change here. The big trough in the east is gone. Now traffic is in the southwest United States. That'll be lifting out, producing snow up north and rain down here at some point this weekend. Yeah, those numbers look good. We can celebrate 57 in Birmingham. How about 59 in Tuscaloosa? And I think we will see some 60s over the weekend, probably low 60s in spots. Around the nation, it's very cold up north, but that cold air is going to be pushed east and not south. Thank goodness. Uh, in the colder air, a winter storm warning for Chicago. They're going to see a lot of snow. And we can feel their pain. Uh, we've got winter weather advisories all the way from Kansas City to Detroit. Also, uh, winter storm warnings posted around St. Louis, Missouri. And out west, a few winter storm warnings for the mountains of New Mexico and Colorado. With that system lifting out of the southwest United States. And for us, it's going to be rain down here. Uh, we'll have a round of rain late in the weekend. Another uh, thunderstorm event toward the middle of next week. And uh, between those two events, parts of North Alabama could receive over two inches of rain. This is the rain through Wednesday evening of next week. And if you're looking for snow, not that many people, at least in Birmingham, are. If you're north of here, you didn't get much. You might want to see some. This is the chance of accumulating snow greater than one inch from 12 o'clock, from 6 o'clock Sunday morning until 6 o'clock Monday morning. You can see a potential, the higher potential of some accumulating snow from near Wichita Falls, Texas to Little Rock. Extreme northwest Tennessee, maybe Jackson getting a little bit up into uh, Kentucky and West Virginia. But uh, no chance, zero chance down here despite the wild rumors on the Facebooks, the tweeters, and the interwebs of uh, one-foot snows here. All right, uh, let's take a look. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 12 noon tomorrow, and this is valid at 500 millibars. Troughing in the west beginning to lift out. Down below that, there's your Chicago snowstorm uh, down towards St. Louis and up toward uh, Detroit. But really, the GFS is showing a dry look here. Uh, I'm not going to say the chance of rain is zero, there could be a shower somewhere, but much of the day should be dry. And I think we'll see a high pretty close to 60 uh, with an increase in clouds. Sunday, I uh, got a cold front coming in from the north, but really the dynamic support is kind of still to the west. And uh, the latest guidance suggesting the better rains might be Sunday night. Clearly, there's a chance of rain during the day Sunday, but this is Sunday night at midnight. and That looks pretty wet. And again, up on the northern flank of that, there could be some snow for maybe uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Maybe Jackson, Tennessee, as it moves up into Kentucky. But it's just all rain down here Sunday night. And then this is Monday. Uh, that feature is on the way out by midday. Uh, so there could be some lingering showers maybe early Monday morning. But uh, drier air working here by Monday afternoon. Uh, here's a look at the uh, snow potential off the NAM. Valid uh, Monday. And, of course, you can see the big snows up around Chicago and Detroit. Uh, with this thing tomorrow and then down to the south, you've got some uh, uh, potential of snow. And the, the the lighter blue, that's two inches or more, uh, parts of Arkansas and maybe Tennessee, but around here, no. All right, now Tuesday, here comes our next system. And this is going to be a pretty dynamic system. Tuesday is going to be mild and breezy. Winds pick up out of the south. The uh, GFS printing a high of 67. And look at here now, we've got a 1,003 millibar low at midnight Tuesday night near Louisville, Kentucky with a trailing front down through uh, Memphis and Shreveport with a band of strong storms. Um, there's the upper support, nice upper trough, some of negative tilt. And then by Wednesday, uh, midday, the showers and storms are exiting the state with a uh, cold air advection. We'll check the severe weather parameters. This is the big limiting factor, and this is midnight Tuesday night. This is the Cape, the surface-based uh, instability and it's showing hardly any here but uh, I'll just warn you sometimes the GFS can underestimate the amount of cape and the other thing to consider it doesn't take a whole lot of cape to have some severe weather here in the cold season and quite frankly these numbers are very impressive this is the bulk shear in the lowest levels the surface to 925 millibars and it's ramped up to 40 knots so we're gonna have to watch this period for severe weather. I'm not saying we are gonna have some, but we'll have to watch it over the weekend for these parameters. That'll be a uh, looks like an active night Tuesday night. 
All right, let's go into Thursday, and that'll just be cool and dry. Seasonal temperatures, probably highs around 50, lows around 30. Week from today, we're dry next storm, gathering off to the west. This is uh, Sunday, February 9th. And uh, again, you can see uh, another band of showers and storms coming in here with a front. And on the 11th, we turn somewhat colder, nothing like the air we just experienced. And again, there is no evidence of any snow here, north central Alabama. Here's the 13th, the next system, uh, right around Valentine's Day. And again, uh, that's all rain. Here's the end of the forecast on the 16th. We got a trough in the west. This is good for California. They're going to see a lot of mountain snow and some needed moisture out there. Uh, northwest flow will often. That would be just kind of quiet and uh, actually pretty comfortable if this is right. So, again, there is no evidence, no empirical evidence of any snow here, north central Alabama, through 15 days for now in modeling. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next, my next video, Monday morning at 7. The man like that uh, looks like Colonel Sanders, Brian Peters, will have the updates here tomorrow and Sunday. And if you can't catch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless.